What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I am back to do another general message for the Collective. How's everybody doing? Hopefully good. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So what's up, fam? Uh, we're going to get into the cards. We're going to see who's in collective energy. Anything we don't see coming, any updates or progress on our current situations, the usual. Uh, I'm going to use a few different decks. Uh, and I'm going to do the shorter read um, just to get some details, you know, see what we got going on. Uh, the pre-shuffle was interesting. Uh, there was a lot of, I got of multiple decks. I saw Seven of Cups reverse. I saw Illusion Confusion reverse out of the Kipper-ish. Um... There's like a really big energy of things being made fair, things being balanced out, illusions being shattered. Um, there could be somebody who sees you for who you are, like finally, they see you for who you truly are. And this person has feelings, you know, they have loving feelings for you. <laughs> um, there's somebody else that, you know, they've known who you are and this person sending you evil eye because you have some type of money coming towards you. I saw Evil Eye, Actual Money, Earth Angel. I mean, the usual, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's get into it. <clears throat> I'm going to pull overall energy from the Psychic Tarot. Um, I have pre-shuffled all of them. Let's go. Patience. Temptation reverse. Power. Emotional loss. <clears throat> Partnerships and alliances. All right, so for overall energy, we have patience, temptation reverse, power, emotional loss, and partnerships and alliances. Bottom of this deck, we have material and spiritual prosperity reverse. <clears throat> um, I mean, as you guys are aware, you know, a lot of times this is, this could be your energy. This could be somebody in your energies, energy. Uh, this could be somebody thinking about you. Um, just take what resonates and leave what does not. Um, first one out was patience. Came out in the upright. This could be somebody needing patience. This could be somebody who is patient. Um, patience. Three of swords reverse. Four of wands. Two of cups so there's somebody here that uh maybe patience is required in a certain situation i feel like there's somebody here you know this could be you this could be somebody else uh three of swords reverse this is somebody it's called my eyes i'm going to show you ten of cups upright it's aligned with everything else here three of swords reverse somebody is healing from heartbreak you know, somebody's healing from heartbreak, healing from emotional pain of some sort, or somebody has healed. Uh, four of Wands, you know, this is somebody with stability, or this could represent a union, a home, security, a celebration of some sort. Two of Cups. This talks about a partnership, a relationship, could be a proposal or a union. And then, like I said, what caught my eye was that Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, which talks about emotional fulfillment. Uh, being happy, happy family, happy life, all of that good stuff. So I feel like, you know, and I got this during the pre-shuffle as well. There's a lot of good stuff. There are great things coming in for you. You know, especially, you know, those of you that have been in alignment, you've been praying for this. You've been manifesting this. You know, you, you know that you've been doing everything you need to do. There are a lot of good things coming in for you. Um, I feel like, you know, you've been patient. You have been patient. You've taken your time healing 
from what was probably a really big uh, emotional loss maybe um well yeah we had emotional loss for overall energy as well uh let me pull a couple more it's two of cups two of cups for one. the high priestess reverse the empress <laughs> this could be a mask there could be somebody who carries themselves as an empress but they are a high priestess a dark witch or practitioner yeah nine of swords there is a uh, a pretender you know this could be your copycat your doppelganger this is a pretender this is somebody that is manipulative uh, could be spiritually gifted, um, but they use their gifts for bad. This is like a dark witch, a dark practitioner, but they carry themselves as an empress. They wear that mask. This person, whoever this is, they're really stressed out. Could be dealing with anxiety, depression, uh, could be crying a lot, you know? Um, and I feel like this is directly connected to you and what's coming to you. It's like, you know, you did the work, you know, you kept your head down, you kept working, you know, you stayed prayed up, stood in your faith, stood in your power, you know, didn't hurt anybody, like never have. And this person is like in a, crying in a nightmare because you're getting your just due. This is a truly sad individual. Um, let me pull from the Kipper-ish, see what we have. Starseed. What's up, fam? Could be a starseed. Rainbow child, crystal child, indigo child. Pathway. What about it? Like I said, somebody been doing everything they need to do. And you got some weird ass, some weird individual. This could be a man or a woman. This person's weird. They are so heartbroken, distraught. Because you are getting your just dude, you're getting what you what you've worked for, what you deserve. Make it make sense. Love spell reverse. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> damn, first row. Love spell reverse. So more than likely this this dark this high priestess reverse was somebody that was attempted to do a love spell. It didn't work. You know, maybe because somebody loves you and the love they have for you is true, it's real, it's authentic, not manufactured, not manipulated. This is why this person this is why this person is like really torn up about something. You know, this could be you. This could be your person. Like I said, we got a star seed in the upright and pathway upright. This is somebody in alignment. Could be you. Somebody could have did a love spell on your person and it, it didn't work. Now they're like, <laughs> they're like, <laughs> they're really torn up because of love spell. Animosity. Maddie, somebody's mad. Crying, mad, uh, just like, ugh. I get like ugly cry too. And not to, you know, I mean, um, you know, not to poke fun at anybody's misery. But I mean, what type of person does this? Who, who tries to do it? They're mad because somebody is getting what they deserve. Like, and they're not, they're getting what they deserve. Like, you're a, a low vibrational, manipulative person and this person's mad ancestors reverse maybe their team has walked away from them if they had any you know spirit guys they had allies in the 5d you know their people might have walked away from them turned their back on them shit they're doing is like you know staining the bloodline disgracing the bloodline cursing the bloodline ridiculous courthouse reverse Now, this could be like an actual court, something in court, something uh, in the legal system. Maybe judgment has been called against this person. Judgment is not, you know, going in their favor because they have no support, no backing with something. Or this could be in the 5D. You know, this could be spiritual. What is that? 
manifestation. Chakras. Both of these are upright. So yeah, maybe this is something you manifested. You might have manifested, you know, either coming out of a legal situation or, you know, maybe your your foes, your, the people who have worked tirelessly to block you or stop you. Maybe you manifest your balance. Chakra's upright. Balance enough to manifest. And maybe you manifested, you know, justice. Star seed. Let me see what we have come out of the miscellaneous over here. <clears throat> I feel like that patience is the overall energy for this line. I, I know a lot of you have had to be very patient. You know, whatever justice that's coming in for you, it's been a long time coming. I know a lot of you have been, some of you have been in the trenches a really long time. Some of you have stepped out of the trenches. You're out of that karmic cycle, but you just been waiting for justice. And I feel like it's really, you know, patient. your patience is going to pay off. Everything had to be aligned or everything, you know, had to be, you know, orchestrated divinely orchestrated happening in divine timing frenemy reverse could be a frenemy that's exposed maybe somebody was you know playing in your face pretending that they like you pretending that they're a good person and they're not or this could be a frenemy that you cut off Did you cut somebody off a covert narcissist wow There's a friend of me that you cut off. This person was a covert narcissist. This could be somebody who's really into appearances. Boy, this is resonating. This is somebody you cut off a friend of me. This person was like not really your friend. They pretended well. This is somebody who maybe they, you know, by societal norms or societal standards, they're attractive. This could be somebody. I get the energy of somebody who's very vain. Very, very vain. You cut this person off. Good for you. Yeah, this is somebody who had bad intentions. Like I said, good for you. Intellectual theft. Someone that steals the ideas, ambitions, or intellectual property of another and claims it as their own. This person was a fraud, a bum and a fraud. And I don't even know where bum came from. I just got that. Like, I mean, yeah, they're stealing your shit. Covert narcissist with bad intentions. This was somebody that was playing in your face, pretending... You know that they were good that they were your friend you might have recently moved away from somebody this could have been a friend a family member anybody yeah you're somebody who's emotionally balanced i feel like you know if you're dealings with whoever this covert narcissist is you maintained emotional balance you know they didn't get you out of pocket and i get the energy of somebody who could have wanted to really get you out of pocket and they did not Damn, somebody's a dark witch. They're evil, devoted to the dark side, takes joy in harming or manipulating others. This is somebody who is experiencing bad luck, bad karma, bad fortune, an, an unfortunate turn of events. Things are getting ugly for somebody. Why? Because they slandered you. Not only are they a dark witch, a low vibing basement dweller. This is somebody who talks shit about you. Smile in your face and, you know, talk about you behind your back. What a lame. Stabbed in the back. Somebody who could have stabbed you in the back. Betrayed by those you thought you could trust. A secret betrayal. Treachery enacted by hidden enemies. A disloyal attack. What a loser. What a loser. Uh, next one out is uh, temptation reverse. Somebody could be avoiding temptation. You know, not giving into, into temptation. I see that number 15, which is like the devil card. Reverse. Somebody could be, you know, releasing toxic habits, releasing temptation. Six of Cups. Eight of Swords reverse. The Fool reverse. Ace of Cups. judgment so there's somebody here you know that is uh 
you know, releasing temptation, maybe not giving into temptations anymore. I feel like this is somebody who is hopeful for a reunion. You know, Six of Cups upright. This is somebody thinking about the past, maybe thinking about memories. Somebody could be looking at pictures. Uh, Eight of Swords reverse. This is somebody who has recently escaped some type of trap, or maybe they're no longer stuck in their head. They have a clear view. They, you know, have made up their mind about something. I feel like this is, you know, somebody who is making necessary changes, but as of current, they're not, or as, as of now, they're not making, they're not taking that leap of faith just yet. You know, the fool are going on a new journey, taking a new path, taking a leap of faith. Somebody's not doing it just yet. I feel like they do have feelings. This is somebody, you know, that has genuine love. Maybe they're loving on themselves, but I feel like this is somebody who may want a passion, new beginning in love, but they're not taking action on this right now. They're not taking a leap of faith. And it could have something to do with, I get karma, judgment upright. You know, somebody could be going through some things. What's this judgment? Entity attachment reverse. Abundance. And we had divination behind that. I don't know. And we had distant future behind that. Somebody could have say you're a reader. You know, and just because you're not on a platform, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, if you read cards, then you could be a reader. Um, there's something to there's some type of abundance pertaining to you maybe you have some type of abundance coming in towards you maybe what you do has been really abundant for you uh somebody tried to project some type of negative energy towards you and they got returned distant future reverse this either happened in the past or this is like current energy you know we just had a full moon a few days ago a couple days ago i think up until yesterday um that's what I, I, I don't, that's what I'm getting. Somebody could have did something maybe around this moon cycle, this full moon. They tried to send something to you, maybe to affect your abundance, abundance upright. Like you're good. What is this? I cannot make it up. Manipulation. Somebody did something probably around the moon cycle to affect your abundance. Some type of manipulation. What a clown. People are so weird, man. Like they don't have shit else better to do. <laughs> Somebody tried to manipulate your uh, your abundance. Yeah, abundance is still upright. The fuck, like they're manipulating their own. These people, oh, seriously, they ain't stopped. Nobody has stopped for a second to think. Well, damn, I'm sitting at the five of pentacles. Maybe it's because I keep projecting onto somebody else's money. That's why I can't keep any. But no, I'm gonna stop and think about that, right? Real love reverse. Trusted. Blocked reverse. Yeah, somebody could have been in a situation where there was no love. Real love reverse. You know, they could have been in a situation, a relationship where there was no love. I feel like this is somebody that wants you to trust them. You know, and uh, take what resonates, leave what does not, you know. Every situation is different. But I feel like this is somebody that want they want you to trust them. They want you to trust they want you to trust them enough to unblock them. Say you haven't had communication, you've been no contact with somebody. They want you you might have them blocked. They want you to unblock them. This is somebody I feel like they, they really want you to to trust them. I don't know what's up with that. This is just trusted real love block. Capricorn reverse could be a Capricorn and a low vibration. Covens, cults, and group associations reverse. This Capricorn, which is also devil energy, temptation fifteen devil energy, Capricorn devil energy, uh, covens, cults, and group associations. This person could be 
a part of a dark, low vibrational cult, coven, or group? I mean, if they're, yeah, they're doing manipulations projecting entities, then yeah. Dwelling in toxicity, victim, weakness, refusal to defend oneself. Status and authority. This could be somebody that, oh, maybe that trusted upright. This could be somebody that's an authority figure. With trusted and status and authority. I don't know if this is like an officer of some sort. Um, an authority figure. Maybe in the community. Maybe somebody with status of some sort. Uh, this person's broke. I just got done saying, you know, they're so busy trying to affect your finances. And they're sitting somewhere broke. Low on funds, codependent, needing assistance, lacking resources. Make it make sense. Like anybody with half a brain would have got the memo. Like, okay, well, maybe I should stop projecting towards the collective. Uh, next, we have power. Um, this is number eight. I get strength energy. And I just saw the Leo card. Uh, somebody could have power. Somebody could be powerful. Uh, somebody could possess strength the divine angels earth angels divine beings spirit guides divine feminine divine masculine immortal clarifying power upright oh yeah foe enemy op opponent rival oh, I grabbed the wrong deck oh, we'll just go with it I was supposed to do the tarot first but uh, yeah Scammer, thief, con artist, liar, romance scammer, catfish, fraud, insurance fraud, hacker. So there's a foe, an enemy, an op that could be a scammer. This person tried to steal from you, tried to con you. This is somebody pessimistic, always looking at the negative side of things. This is somebody dumb. You are dumb. Uneducated, failure to learn, low IQ, lacking knowledge. I mean, I say it all the time. Dummy. <laughs> I mean, hey. let me pull from the uh, the tarot here. This is somebody not sweet. I feel, I really feel like somebody's being shown maybe your true power. You know, they didn't want to believe it. And for, you know, I feel like most of you, a lot of you don't go around saying, oh, well, I'm an earth angel or I'm a high priestess or I'm a high priest or I'm the collective. I'm chosen. Most, you know, most people don't, you know, you don't just go around telling people that. But this is somebody who could have, they seen your light before you did. I get that. In a lot of these cases, these people seen your light before you did and still wanted to play dumb, play stupid. Like they didn't know, like they had no idea what was up. They didn't know what you was coming with. How you was giving it up. Stupid. Just dumb. Four of Cups. Four of Swords. Reverse. Four of Four. This could be somebody that's in bad health. They feel rejected. They feel like they missed a really great opportunity. They could be losing sleep over this. Knight of Wands. Player energy man or woman i mean this is somebody that's you know flighty in and out inconsistent get the fuck i'm sorry knight of cups knight of cups so this player what has love for you they're a foe an enemy an op but they want to make some type of love offer make it make sense seriously this will get the man this will get you slapped to sleep how you a foe an op an enemy but you want to make a love offer I mean, man. Ten of Wands reverse. This is somebody who wants to release their burdens. Maybe something's got become too much. It's too much to bear. It's just, just weird. Like seriously, are you a, are you a friend or are you a foe? Do you love the collective or do you hate the collective? Like, are what side are you on? Pick a side and stay there. This is weird. Protection. This is somebody you can have your guards up with. I mean, understandably so. Shit. Expectation reverse. 
Or maybe somebody didn't expect you to be protected. You know, they thought you were a fraud, a phony. You know, ain't no way that person is uh, chosen. Ain't no way that person protected by God. You know, like, well, uh, Jezebel. So they're a foe, they're an enemy, they're an op. They could be in bad health. This person's a player, but they want to make a love offer to you. <laughs> they weren't expecting you to be protected. This could also be a oh, Jezebel energy. Endings reverse. This is somebody that doesn't want an ending. Jezebel energy that does not want this to be over. You know, they want to, you know, be a lady of the night or a gentleman of the night, sidewalk gang. And they just want you to, you know, go along for the ride. Achievement. Single, sexy, and successful reverse. This could have been somebody else. Somebody wanted another person to lose their spot, lose their position, maybe lose money. And I feel like maybe they did. Like say there was a third party, a dark witch or practitioner that was trying to manipulate some shit in your life, trying to manipulate manipulate things in your person's life. Um, I mean, to take what resonates. I mean, it could have affected you. I feel like it definitely affected the your person or the the, the the masculine, the other person involved. It's Jezebel energy that wanted to, you know, maybe mess up somebody's independence. Gift reverse. Somebody lost their gift. If this was, I, we haven't had an energy emerge over here yet, so I'm not really sure. Uh, if this is the masculine or the feminine. But somebody wanted to abuse their gift, right? Steadily trying to manipulate things in your life. Attacking somebody chosen. Attacking an earth angel. Attacking somebody protected. Now they've lost their gift. Uh, next we have emotional loss. This could be like five of cups. I see five up there. Could be emotional loss. Or I mean like five of cups energy. Uh, somebody could have lost emotion. Maybe for somebody else. Emotional loss. King of Wands, reverse. Ten of Pentacles. The Sun. Nine of Wands, reverse. Strength reverse. So there's somebody here that could be, you know, dealing with an emotional loss of some sort. This was somebody that was, they either tried to block your finances, block something coming to you, or this was just, you know, somebody untrustworthy, unreliable. They wanted the reward without the work. Uh, King of Wands energy reverse is a masculine energy, can be a man or a woman. This is somebody typically lustful, manipulative, aggressive, could be a wizard. A male that does magic of some sort. Uh, they are reversed. So you're like a dark, a dark witch. Um, when it comes to some type of money, maybe in it, justice. Justice, upright. When it comes to some type of money, maybe some type of family business, some type of inheritance. I feel like something's been exposed. If this person took something that belongs to somebody else, it's come to light. Like it's been exposed. I feel like somebody's caught. So whatever they were doing, or if they were trying to do this, trying to steal somebody's money, they have to give up. Like nine of wands is somebody, you know, pushing through, continuing on, continuing the fight. This is somebody who is, yeah, they cannot continue. Maybe because they're, they're exposed. Somebody was caught being disloyal. This could be a coward. Did a whole bunch of shit behind your back. Now they're scared to face you. Insecurity. Ugh. 
Insecurity. So masculine energy, you know, this King of Wands reverse, somebody insecure. Doing all of this manipulation, all of this shit talking, but they insecure. Make it make sense. Like, what the hell? You're a coward. 50 something. Game over. Permanent endings, the end of manipulation, deception, or a difficult time. It's been like heavy energy. Like illusions have been cleared. Shit, it's, it's over. You know, for a lot of you, it's been a long road. It's been a long uphill battle. But it's over. Yeah, somebody lied on you? Just full of shit. Telling a bunch of lies. Liar came out reverse. Somebody's exposed. It's over. They're caught. They stole something that's been exposed. The lies they told have been exposed. The illusions they cast have been shattered. Bad habits, toxic, rebel, risk taker, bad influence, poor moral compass operates in the I said it. Operates in the dark. He has strength reverse. This is a fucking coward. Punk ass. Yeah, and they came for a high vibing spiritualist with morals, integrity, and good intentions. Of course they attacked you behind your back. Fucking cowards. Ugh. Oh, what else we got for this line? High honor reverse. This could be somebody that's prior service military. Or just could be definitely somebody who lacks honor. They lack integrity. They lack righteousness. Scum. I just heard scum. But I don't know if somebody says that. Do you call people scum? <laughs> scum. Emotional pain in reverse. So this person was a total douchebag, right? And they don't feel bad about it. Emotional pain in reverse. Bondage. Like, yeah, I stole your money. Yeah, I lied on you. I don't feel bad about it neither. Like, okay. That's why your ass is trapped. Shut up. <laughs> Bondage. What is that? Obsession reverse. I don't know if somebody's stuck in a situation. They're bound to something. Maybe they're super obsessive. That's what I get too. Somebody's like bound to something. Maybe the, the same entity they tried to send to you. Somebody's like super. We have a session reverse, but somebody's like super obsessive. I get obsessed with lying. False documents, info, statements, agreements. This person's bound. Because they lied. They provided a false document. Made false statements. This is a liar. Like literally, this is what I get. Some obsessed weird. I'm like, get your weird ass. Oh my goodness. Get your weird ass on. Stop running your mouth, scum bucket. Yeah, this is a whole fucking lie. Man, get make it make sense. This is a liar. An obsessed liar. They provided false documents, false receipts to substantiate their lies. They're full of shit. What a clown. What a clown. Man or a woman. What a clown. Just ridiculous. Ugh. Is this somebody in some type of legal issue? We got legal upright. Somebody's in trouble. What the shit they've been doing. It's a mature man. And we had... Well, man. This could be a father figure. This could be your person. Your past person. I get father figure. 50 something mature man might be prior service military man get the fuck so weak so weird uh ugh. shoot uh okay we already did those uh the last one out we have is partnerships and alliances uh i did see some things during the pre-show we had two of cups up here too you know somebody might want to somebody's healing from something you know there's a partnership coming in a union a celebration uh there may be a partnership an alliance you know uh one that you can rely on one you can count on um partnerships and alliances the chariot The Hierophant. Queen of Wands. Reverse. 
Knight of Pentacles reverse. Page of Cups. So somebody could be focused on a partnership or alliance. This person, uh, this is somebody getting control of their their situation. Cherry it up right. Somebody you know getting control of whatever they have going on. Somebody who's moving forward, moving on from a situation maybe. This Hierophant, it came out on the fence, took it up right. This could be a spiritual energy, like a spiritual minded person. Somebody with spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge maybe. Or it could have been reversed. Maybe somebody's moving on from a lustful, witchy, feminine energy. Queen of Wands reverse. It could be moving on from a, a Queen of Wands reverse because this person was non-committal or they were not trustworthy. Page of Cups. It's the Page of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Somebody wants to apologize for something. This is an, an, an admirer. Could be somebody that likes you. They have love for you. Five of Swords. I don't know if it's this Queen of Wands that wants to apologize. This person is not trustworthy. They may want to come in and express some type of sentiment because they want to turn the wheel into their favor. This is somebody sneaky, deceptive. Five of Swords, somebody that, that'll do anything to win. Community. Family. Damn. And behind that we had health concern. So there could be a group and a family that have a health concern. Maybe all these people are sick. Oh. Why did I see that? This is not gonna be for Eric. Oh my gosh. I, man, I'm not going to describe what I just saw, but ritual, community, family, both of those came out, which is groups, people, a group of people that banded together. It could be a family, could be a group, a community, health concern upright. Say there was a group, a coven, a group, a society. That banded together to do some type of ritual work on you. Maybe to have you sick. I just saw the word sacrifice. This shit's backfiring. It's a bunch of people. Sick. And what I saw. What, I mean a, a bunch of people could be like getting ready to check on out. Like they're getting ready to you know. Check out. No extended stays, like they're getting ready to, you know, going on to glory. And I wouldn't wish that on nobody. I don't know. Just people could be sick based on some type of ritual they did. What is this? Intuitive care reverse. These people could be, their intuition could, could be blocked. Maybe they tried to block yours. Travel reverse. These are people that tried to block your forward movement. They wanted to block your intuition so that you would never know it was them. You would never put two and two together. They wanted to keep you from moving on, moving forward, maybe moving away. They didn't want you moving at all. Nice guy. Oh, okay. So, they, yeah, they could have um, very well blocked somebody else's. There's a King of Cups energy. Nice guy, upright. Um, this person's intuition could have been blocked. There was a group, a community, maybe a family that blocked this person's intuition to keep this person from coming towards you. Karma? What's the karma? Flying monkey. Faith reverse. 
Somebody could be receiving good karma. Maybe this King of Cups energy is receiving some type of good karma. Maybe for waking up. Faith reverse. This could be somebody, you know, I mean, I get that energy. This family, this community, maybe, you know. We got flying monkey upright. Somebody is like of a dark, a darker faith. It's a, it's a cult, a coven. Or a society of some sort. These people are super triggered. Unbothered reverse. People could be super triggered. Because they're reaping what they've sown. Like a bad, Seriously. 30 of y'all gang up on an earth angel. You thought that was going to be okay? Opening up to love. Healing love wounds. Acceptance of emotions. Forty something, reverse, forty something. Somebody could be under forty. Opening up to love. Somebody's going through a rebirth, a healing, transformation, making healthier choices, resurgence. Somebody could be healing. Opening up to love. Oh, they could be releasing some type of faith. They're getting good karma because they were a flying monkey. They were helping the ops and now they've released this. Whatever they were a part of independence standing alone following one's own instincts and intuition self-sufficient not needing outside approval or validation somebody has finally grown a backbone look at that standing up and standing alone this is somebody's person they're going through a rebirth a transformation 60 something charm narcissist somebody could be 60 something this person's charming they come off i mean most narcissists typically do this is my malignant narcissist card mm. this person could be charming i think most most narcs are, are are they not true love unconditional love emotional bliss eternal love maybe you got a narc in love with you little narky poo in love with you uh, trust your intuition listening to your inner knowing paying attention to the signs and synchronicities so when it comes to I mean, this could be somebody you have true love or that has true love for you this person is a narc though you know not to say people can't change this is a situation you need to trust your intuition so I think I think most of you know that you know you can't trust what people say you know, half the time, you're not even what they show you. You know, you need to trust yourself. Man. I feel like you were compassionate with somebody. Somebody here is mad or angry. They're uh, in a bad mood. Maybe always mean and just, you know, disgusted. I feel like you were compassionate to somebody. They could be 20-something. This person didn't reciprocate. They have, there's no unconditional love. I don't know if this person has photos, video, ocular proof, or maybe this person got caught doing something. It's a karmic relative. Somebody you helped is mad at you. A karmic relative of some sort. They're mad because you healed. You're getting better with time. Like, make it make sense. This person's been revealed to you, or they're about to be. Mask off, false person revealed, hidden enemy exposed. Proceed with caution, danger ahead, pay attention to the signs. You're somebody chill, non-confrontational, avoiding conf conflict. Some pessimistic person wants to make a love confession to you. This person could have an entity attachment. Baby, well... There's a King of Swords energy here. This person is either, they could be sneaking and doing something. Lying, cheating, or stealing, or they're just sneakily doing something. They are in the upright. This is somebody that could be focused on stability, focused on getting their money right. They've established boundaries with, a, yeah, they've established boundaries with a codependent feminine energy. Because now they have, like I said, they have full truth and clarity. They know who you are, baby. Queen of Cups. What's up, boo? Hi, love. 
Ace of Swords, Queen of Queen of Cups. They know who you are. They have full truth and clarity. They see who you are. They see that beautiful Queen of Cups and Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you. I mean, but yeah, I really feel like it's it's imperative that you use your your discernment, your own trust, your own intuition, because this is somebody that can't. It's, uh, it's somebody that I feel they can't fully be trusted. This person wants to come towards you and speak some type of truth. Yeah, some type of communication. About a queen of swords reverse, a vengeful, spiteful, evil, hateful, feminine energy. Yeah, they've released this person and they're not going back. This person could be getting balance. They're planning. Or a karmic family could be planning something. A karmic family is somehow planning to get a block an offer from you for you. They don't want you to get an offer of commitment from a King of Cups energy. Tower. Yeah, it's a tower moment. They're not getting their way. Ace of Wands upright. The devil reverse. Two of Swords. Somebody's releasing toxicity. They're releasing things, places, and people that no longer serve them. And they have made their mind up about this shit. Somebody knows what they want to do. They've made their mind up. Yeah, they're no longer pursuing whatever they were because an illusion has been shattered. Seven of Cups reverse, you know? They're seeing clearly, seeing through the... Yeah, they're seeing that your ships are coming in. And that they were unfair. They were, in, you know, there could have been an imbalance. This person juggled you. You healed. You healed and moved on. Ten of Swords reverse, Six of Swords upright. You've healed and moved on from a situation. Meanwhile, somebody else is getting bad karma. They could be in fights, fighting with everybody around them. This is embarrassing. Six of Wands reverse. It's a loss. It's an L. The hangman, they're stuck. This could be something embarrassing. Somebody could be going to jail. They're stuck. Yeah. I feel like you might have something to celebrate. Five of Pentacles reverse. If you've been struggling with money, struggling with finances, there could be something coming in for you. Something that sh that you're owed. Maybe something, a product that you've, of your work. We had intellectual property and I'm getting that. Somebody could have stole your work, stole something you made. And maybe they made money off of it. I feel like you're getting this. You're getting this back. Page of Swords reverse. Malicious gossip and slander. To block an opportunity from you a prosperous opportunity i feel like you you a lot of you know this you know you went inward for introspection you've probably been doing some healing you walked away from from maybe a karmic lover love contract and i feel like you're not going back you know like you've you've walked away from something that didn't serve you and uh you're not going back you're not walking away from your path. This has somebody else in deep regret. Because they're not getting wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups reverse. They're stuck in a karmic cycle. It's King of Pentacles reverse. Materialistic, superficial, money hungry. This person is really trying to manifest though. They are really trying to manifest. They're not being a permanent ending between you and them. Man. I'm going to give you guys a sliver of the, uh, the mess deck. Hopefully you guys are doing well, uh, enjoying your day, your morning, your evening, your afternoon, whatever it is for you. Get messages for the collective spirit. Messages for the collective spirit. Psychic abilities. You could be a psychic, a medium, have any one of the clairs. Maybe you have something coming in, a new ability. You could have a new ability coming in. Seventh house could be significant. Relationships, marriage, contracts, business partners, equality, sharing, interpersonal style. Somebody could have a blue car. I feel like I've lost you for good this time. Your next phase is going to be full of happiness. I said it, man. You got a lot of good things coming in for you. And there's a lot of people wanting to throw salt. Remember that you are safe. You are protected. Affirm it. Claim it. You know, remember. You're safe. You're protected. Keep moving forward.
You got work to do. <laughs> Keep moving forward. Illusions and confusion. Want to turn around. They literally hate the fact <laughs> they hate the fact that you're happy. That's what I get. I mean, I got that like early. It's like seriously, you're they hate the fact you're happy. That must be a miserable existence. To hate the fact that somebody else is happy. <laughs> I'll never I'll never speak the whole truth. Some things I've done are so horrible, I intend to take them to the grave. And that's why somebody might come in and they, they might give you a little bit of truth. They might tell you something. They're not going to tell you everything. This person's stupid. <laughs> this person could be dumb. We had that somewhere else. I saw it. Because I have this card that says you are dumb. And they came right on out. Like somebody's stupid. Right here. Somebody dumb. You're slow. <laughs> Spiritual upgrade. I saw a reverse. Somebody could be getting a spiritual downgrade. Why am I hearing the Ice Spice song? Uh, you think you the shit? Or uh, you think you the shit, bitch? You're not even a fart. Yeah, somebody thought they was a shit, right? <laughs> hey, not even a fart. Someone intends to gaslight you in an attempt to mend. Oh, get the fuck. What? Someone attempts to gas. Someone intends to gaslight you in an attempt to mend the bond. Your intuition was and still is correct. Reject them. Reject that ass. They coming back. Well, really, you go gaslight? Think you go gaslight somebody to mend a bond? Baby, yeah, collective. Collect, uh, reject that ass. I hope anybody coming towards me with this shit. They fuck around, get their ass whooped. My mama don't get the fuck. Don't. My mama don't like you because you're different. Your mama doesn't like herself. Sir, ma'am creature, your mother doesn't like herself. Tell her to worry about that. Focus on that, ma'am. What the fuck? Mama don't, my mama don't like you. Your mama don't like you either, truth be told. Shit. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> What's up, gang? You could be a Leo. Somebody mama don't like you. You don't care because shit. Somebody with bad intentions, or there could be a Leo with bad intentions, or somebody got bad intentions for you. Leo, lovely Leo. Somebody got bad intentions for you, baby. What's new? They're doing beauty spells to affect your appearance and cause you to gain or lose weight. Return to Cinder tenfold. Any dumbass projecting beauty spells or doing any type of manipulation to my Leos or any other sign. In the collective. May it return to you tenfold and may it rest with you. Stop playing with the collective. Dummy. People are stupid. I'm gonna take a few more of these. That'll do it. False promises. They can feel you releasing them energetically. Here they come to reel you back in. Up. Oh. Reel you back in. Here they come to get tapped. Tap. Tap dance stone. Shit, right? <laughs> Reputation. Somebody tried to like ruin your reputation. Yeah, it's 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 being it's it's back intact, beloved. Don't even trip. You could be getting a settlement. Cancer. Cancer, you get a settlement. Somebody getting a settlement. Somebody's getting a payout of some sort. Drug addict. There's a drug addict with a health concern. Oh my goodness. Somebody, and I'm just gonna tell you what I saw. I saw blue pills. I saw blue pills, tiny blue pills. Health concern, drug addict. Lying, there's a, a, a sick drug addict lying to get people on their side. If you don't shut up and go to rehab, this person did a love spell that bad, that did not work. This fucking weird ass high priestess reverse, because that's the person that did a love spell. Energy vampire. And somebody's an energy healer. Power of attorney. This 
person's out of their mind. That's what I get. Somebody's got, yeah, power of attorney. This person's out of their mind. Somebody's like lost their shit. They're, they've lost their marbles. R, first, last, middle, initial. I just, did I not just say somebody has lost their mind? I feel that energetic. Like somebody has lost their shit. They're like off their rocker. Padded room vibes. Sidewalk gang claiming that you're lustful. Yeah, shut the fuck. Oh, excuse me. I'm man. That... Sidewalk gang. This is like literally a prostitute, a escort claiming that you are lustful. I said it yesterday. You have better things to do with that mouth of yours. Samuel or Sally. Get back on the sidewalk. Stop running your mouth about the collective. Trash box. Five and dime ass. Shut up. Talking about the collective. You're a, you're a whole prostitute. A whole escort. Calling somebody else lustful. In a lot of cases, you don't even know. Collective, you don't even know these animals. These wild fucking animals. A wild boar. A giraffe. We don't know. Like, seriously. You ain't been to the zoo in a while. You ain't seen these motherfuckers around. Like, get the fuck. Just stupid. Ugh. Possibly want to talk about the collective. Shut up. Ugh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that always makes me feel better. <laughs> Pretending I just spit some. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull one from the Shaman's Dream. Closing door. Completion. What about it? Shut the door. Lock it. And then barricade it. Shit. We, yeah, we're done with this shit. Completion. These weirdos out of here. Go on to your padded room. And keep your mouth shut. Uh, Astro codes. Or star codes. Astro oracle. I'm going to pull one from here as well. Who did I send me though? Seriously. That ain't the pot calling the kettle black. You're a whole prostitute calling somebody else lustful. Shut up. Calling an earth angel. Man, get. Woo. Capricorn. I saw it reverse. What is up with this Capricorn reverse? This mature man, 50 something, mature man. Uh, high honor reverse. Could be millet. Man, Capricorn reverse. Get the fuck. Achieve. I don't know if this uh, deck takes reversals or not. We'll see. Uh, let me get you another one, love. Let's do the Citadel. The Citadel. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm just going to reach in here and grab one. The Alchemist, reverse. Balance, invention, destruction. All right, we'll start with that one. The Alchemist. Okay. Reversed. Here the alchemist genius is uncontrolled, throwing them into to an unbalanced situation of stress and anxiety. Too much has been abandoned in the search for a fresh start. Rather than burning every bridge you have, reassess and accept a middle ground. Hmm. I'm going to read that one more time. Here the alchemist genius is uncontrolled. Throwing them into an unbalanced situation of stress and anxiety. Too much has been abandoned in the search for a fresh start. Rather than burning every bridge you have, reassess and accept a middle ground. Take what resonates and apply that as it fits. Somebody, you know, you or somebody else could be, you know, in search. You could have been in search for a fresh start, you know. Maybe you cut a lot of people off. Somebody could have cut a lot of people off, burned a lot of bridges. And now there needs to be a, like a middle ground found. Maybe you need to hear some people out. Hear somebody. I don't know. Take what resonates, love. Okay. Uh, Capricorn. Achieve. Number 10 could be significant. Okay, and it doesn't take a reversal, so... Uh, Capricorn asks us to dive deep 
into the sea of collective consciousness and find a worthy dream and then work on it and walk it to the mountaintops. Capricorn, the cardinal earth sign, is ruled by Saturn. Its symbol is a mergoat, half sea creature, half mountain goat. And the sign is connected to our bones and knees, the equipment we use to climb stairs and achieve our goals. The sun shines in Capricorn December 21st through the 20th. This situation needs a good and healthy structure, foundations upon which you can solidly build. Capricorn imbues ambition and drive, determination, willpower, and precision. When used with integrity, these qualities culminate in the gift of leadership. The Murgo reminds us to dive into spirit, into the dream world, get a vision for the good of all sentiment beings sentient beings then do the work needed to manifest it find motivation set a goal and build with integrity mountain goats climb easily up and down but aren't as comfortable on flat terrain capricorn energy can leave you depressed when you feel flat and see no progress if you can't fish mend the nets look for what can be done now and make it a project make short-term plans that take you to medium-term goals and help you climb your mountain over time celebrate each step capricorn encourages you to practice skills and develop spiritual disciplines. Learn to control yourself, not others. Lead rather than dictate. Look for guidance from elders or experts and grow your personal authority. Develop confidence through your portfolio. Observe and savor not what you think you can or can't do, but what you've actually done. Keep an eye on the power dynamics. Without integrity, Capricorn ambition can enable gross manipulation. Control a tendency to become controlling or manipulative when feeling anxious. Do not fall in love with others' competence. Let it inspire your own. Wisdom grown over time and through mature experience is the gift of Capricorn, as is connection to the spiritual traditions and dis disciplines that offer a sound foundation for our evolution. Capricorn, achieve. I was like, you know, free game, pretty much. Uh, definitely good advice. What they said about um, working on what you can now. If you can't fish, mend the nets and look for what can be done now and make it a project. Make short term plans that take you to medium term goals and help you climb your mountain over time. Celebrate each step. You know, do what you can until you can do, you know, every every step, you know is you know worth celebrating because it's one step closer you know get those short-term goals done and those will lead you to medium-term goals and then before you know it you're where you want to be climb your mountain over time capricorn all right uh closing door completion number five could be significant endings completion your greater calling when the closing door shows up, it's a call to recognize an ending, to terminate a relationship, job, task, or situation that has been dragging on far too long. Unlock the cage you have been trapped in and shut the door behind you. This is not the time to worry about what others might think or feel. Instead, break with routine, consider what you think and how you feel, and be true to your heart's calling. It's time to walk out the door. If you do not see a door, but only a solid wall in front of you, ask for assistance. Muster the courage to say, no more. Remember as well that no one else needs to be wrong in order for you to do what you've known you needed to do for a long time. If the door to a project or relationship has been closed to you, stop knocking on it. You have tried that already and no one answered, at least not in the way you would have liked. Take this as a gift, difficult and painful as it might be, move on. Every door that shuts is an invitation to find another way, another path to your destination. Better to recognize this earlier rather than later. How many of us leave a relationship or job years after we knew it was time to move on? Stop wallowing in the pain and lingering on the reasons why things didn't work, did not work. It is keeping you from your greater calling. Bow deeply before the closed door. Give thanks to the lessons and set yourself free. Closing door. Endings, completion, your greater calling. It's hard to say goodbye you know maybe to certain people certain energies maybe to certain lifestyles maybe to certain places but for a select few of you you know you have you know you have to you know you and it just resonates for me too i'm right there with you fam you know you have to 
You gotta let them go. The things, the places and people that are hindering you, that are no longer serving you, that are no good for you. You know what you gotta do. And you can do it. All right, I did not pick a prayer today, but uh, let me give you, let's do Jesus Listens by Sarah Young. Jesus Listens, uh, it's a prayer for every day of the year. Uh, it's by Sarah Young. Uh, Sarah Young is great. Um, a lot of celebrities had this book, so I got it. Uh, let's see what we got. I think today is the 25th. Okay, I'm praying for everybody watching, all of you beautiful souls, all of the collective, all you chosen ones, all you star seeds, what's up fam, and myself. Eternal God, I come to you, yearning to rest in your everlasting arms. I'm trying to view my weakness as an opportunity to grow strong in awareness of your almighty presence. When my energy fails me, I tend to look inward and lament the lack I find there. Help me instead to look to you and your su uh, sufficiency. Rejoicing in your radiant riches that are abundantly available to me. I need to go gently through this day, leaning on you and enjoying your presence. I'm learning to thank you for my neediness, realizing that acceptance of my insufficiency is building trust bonds between us. As I look back on my life journey thus far, I'm encouraged to see that days of extreme weakness have been some of my most precious times. My memories of those days are richly interwoven with golden strands of your intimate presence. In your glorious name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Man, that last man, it really that resonates. As I look back on my life journey thus far, I'm encouraged to see that the days of extreme weakness, those really bad days, have been some of my most precious times. My memories of those days are richly interwoven with the golden strands of your intimate presence. I've told you guys a story about like, you know, my first prayer and the very moment that I, I, I knew without a shadow of a doubt, God was real. You know, I was having the, the, the scariest day of my life. Well, the second scariest day of my life. Um, and I said a prayer. And, and amidst all of that chaos, you know, somebody showed up. Could have been God, could have been an angel. I asked for God, but... <laughs> um, my memories of those days are richly interwoven with golden strands of your intimate presence. Uh, that reference, uh, Deuteronomy 33, 27, Romans 8, 26, Philippians 4, 19, and Psalm 27, 13, and 14. Amen. Amen. Um, I'm going to close this reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there was some clarity, some confirmation. Maybe you could put two and two together. Um, if nothing else, thank you so much for joining me, fam. You guys are amazing. I love you. Uh, to anybody who's donated to the channel, thank you. Um, it's greatly appreciated. I love you. To anybody who would like to donate, the links will be in the description box of this video, as well as the links to Mystic Sense. I'm a partner with Mystic Sense. Um, they are a company that offers skilled, tried and true, gifted psychics, mediums, readers. Um, you get a discounted rate when you use my link. Um, also in the description box is the link to my Etsy shop. I've got a few, a few bracelets available. I got some more coming. I told you guys I was going to like go through all of my supplies and make them, get them out. And then I'm going to be done with those for a while. Um, bye bye bad vibe. I think I still have a few of those in stock. There will be more. Like I have everything. Um, thank you guys for your support. Really appreciate it. I love you. Um, to any of you that give me those energetic donations, those likes, those comments, those subscribes. Thank you so much, fam. It's a really big help and I love you. I want to send you guys an abundance of love, light, healing vibes, peaceful vibes, prosperity, success, protection, gratitude, faith, everything great, everything wonderful. You're so, you're so worthy. <laughs> you're so deserving. Don't ever forget that. As always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for The Collective. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.